Hi, child of God, you are welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful Word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. All the content that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I encourage you, if you're a believer, subscribe to this channel. That for your sake, God did not spare Jesus. For your sake, when Jesus cried and said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, Father, with all the love you have for me, you still turn your face. He said, I love you, but for the sake of man, I will sacrifice you. If he gave Jesus, is it a healing he will not give you? If he gave Jesus, is it a lifting he will not give you? If he gave Jesus, is it ending yokes of curses and delay that he will not bring? You must be conscious of the fatherhood of God. It matters that you know, who the, listen, your confidence is based on the awareness of the benevolence of the person you are pleading to help you. Are we together now? If you hear that, go and collect 20,000 from this man. The first question you ask is, is he a giver? Is he used to giving? Who did he give to? How easily did he give? Ah, no, 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 this man, he will give you anything, including his heart, and you will go with confidence. Sir, please help me. I hear you like helping men. But there are a few people, if they say collect five naira from them, you say, no, I'll go and walk. This man does not give anything. God is a giver. The proof that he's a giver is that he did not spare Jesus. Are we together now? He did not spare Jesus. He would have given one angel or given whatever. He said, Jesus, you are my son. You are God. But because of the love I have for man, you will die. And not even the tears of Jesus changed his mind. That's how determined he is. I'm praying for you. You will experience the fatherhood of God tonight. Listen, let faith rise in your spirit. Because some of you, as you are listening to me now, you will check that pain and see that it's gone. God is a giver. Did you hear me? God is a giver. Whether you are inside, outside, all the overflows, connecting online. God is a good father and he's a giver. He's not a cruel person rejoicing that you are not able to pay rent. You are a father with five children. How does it give him glory that you are incapacitated? Everything that insults the fatherhood of God in the world of men must become your project tonight. Are we together? Yeah. By the privilege of God's grace, I have many people under my care that I take care of. I've taken care of them for years. I have the honor of contributing uh, to communities. And I know how responsible I feel over those that I have the privilege to take care of. When they call me and say, Daddy, they've increased our school fees. I won't get angry at them. It's not their fault. If you have assumed the position of Abba, it comes with that responsibility. Are we together? There has never been anybody I recall under my care and fatherhood who come, maybe they increase my rent and they increase school fees. And I say, you must be stupid. It's not the fault of the person. That's why he's the son and you are the father. So when you come before God and say, God, look what is happening. I cannot pay my rent. That's why I'm coming to you. Let me tell you, every time you believe God, you put pressure on his fatherhood. That because you have trusted him, who am I speaking to? That you traveled all the way. You didn't just come to meet Joshua Selman. You came to meet your father. And your father is the king of Zion. He's a mighty God. Father. Most people do not receive because they do not know who is giving them. They, when it has to do with receiving from God, you don't think him as God. It's a family affair. The prodigal son remembered that he had a father and he said, no matter how far I have gone, my father may be a CEO of a company, but I'm not going to a CEO. I will arise and go to my father. If you go to the warrior, you will not receive anything. The warrior fights, he does not show compassion. Are we together now? God is a warrior, but tonight he's chosen to be father. 
In other words, he's saying, my child, let me hear from you again. What did you say has been threatening your joy from January to June? And you say, God Almighty, my biological father just died this year and I'm the first out of eight children. There is no way I can rise. Vain is the help of men. I have come to you. And he says, step back. Since you have called me father, let me show you what a good father does. I've tasted of the fatherhood of God. Let me tell you, he's a faithful father. There are many fathers here. It becomes an insult on your reputation if they find your children roaming around the street. Are you not the child of so, so, so and so? He said, yes, sir. Where is your father that is allowing you to do this? There are certain people because of the status of their parents, the children never have to go through certain things again. Am I right on that? When others are queuing, the father can hold them because he owns the company. I've seen children, I've seen people come to look for a CEO and they are waiting at the reception and the child of that man will run and push them and open the door. No secretary, no PA. He did not come to see a CEO. He came to see father. Everybody's trying to behave himself to get the job. Let me conduct myself before I lose the job. And the boy comes. Not disrespectful, but confident. And he opens the door and says, Daddy, I'm hungry. And what they labor to prepare in the kitchen, he says, my son, sit down and eat. You want to receive from God? You must know that you are not receiving from one of those deities. God is not just a better deity than other demons. Christianity is the only faith practice where God relates to men as father. Every other faith practice demands obeisance and demands meeting God as a stranger. You are not even sure you may die in the process. But he's chosen to draw us. He calls us sons. He calls us children. He doesn't just call us citizens or members. It is true that he's king. It is true that he's warrior. But he's father. Someone say father. That is a name that is a very expensive name. We live in a world where people assume that name. That name comes with enormous responsibility. When you ever assume the name Father, that means I have accepted the responsibility of seeing to the welfare of that child. The prodigal son's father sat down. He said, even though my son has misbehaved, but I am father, will I leave that boy that way? Do you know the prodigal son did not meet him at home? In my opinion, if the prodigal son met the boy at home, we will have a right to query the man because he has an advantage of age and experience. As the prodigal son was looking for him, he was also looking for his son. They met somewhere and the man never spoke to him about what he did. The Bible says while he was a great way off, the father saw him and had what? Compassion. And saw him and fell on his neck and kissed him and said my son let's go you are smelling but you are still my son you are lean you've lost weight but you are still my son most likely sick you need to see a doctor but you are still my son I will hold you and cross the rivers with you if people look at you and say is this not the boy that we knew years ago living a riotous life he will say it is a family affair it's not you he offended I am the father. It is a family affair. He didn't offend the community. I'm the one he offended. And if I've chosen to hold him back home, then who can lay a charge against God's elect? Are we together? Is someone learning? Someone say, I receive. I receive. We receive by having the consciousness of the fatherhood of God. I tell you, if you understand these principles I'm sharing with you, you will begin to see miracles already happening because when the revelation of the fatherhood of God hits you, doubt and fear will go. Hallelujah. We have our children here. I always make that example. For many of our children, their service starts after the grace. They are just waiting to share the grace so they stand behind. I hug every single one of them and sometimes give them gifts before I start attending to people. Do you know why? because they are children and they are happy. They've never been conscious of whether they are dressing well or not. It's none of their business. As soon as the grace is done, they run and they stand happily. 
a big hug and sometimes they ask me to bring down my ears they want to tell me something I am your apostle but that one is father they are not talking to a man of God bend your ears there's something I want to tell you I just wrote my exams and I passed and I said you mean it you passed find something and give them there are listen with God there are no illegitimate children are we together now with God there are no illegitimate children provided you come to Jesus he receives you are we together now presents you to the father and like him you are called son so he is the firstborn among we the begotten are we learning James 1 and verse 5 James chapter 1 and verse 5 He said, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally. Liberally. A version, I think NIV says graciously. Or is it the English Standard Version or thereabout? Graciously, generously. God does not just give carelessly. Yeah. He gives graciously and he gives generously. That means when you say, God, I'm hungry, you better be prepared for what you receive. Because he gives according to his riches. According to his riches. Even for strangers, he commands the rain to fall upon the just and the unjust. Talk less dealing with those that is a family affair. Everybody say, God is my father. Yes. One more time. Say, God is my father. So whether it's healing, whether it's deliverance, whether it's open doors, you are approaching Abba, Pata, the source, sustainer, protector, defender. Joshua Nimax Selman was born 25th of June, 1980, in Zaria, Kaduna State, Nigeria, also known as Apostle Joshua. Selman is a Nigerian gospel minister, conference speaker, and televangelist. He is the founder and senior pastor of the Eternity Network International, ENI. The ENI have a program called Koinonia, a gospel fellowship held weekly in Samaru, Zaria, Kaduna State, as well as in Abuja, Nigeria. Here are five fascinating facts about Apostle Joshua Selman. Number one, a spiritual leader. Apostle Joshua Selman is a renowned Nigerian gospel minister, televangelist, and founder of Eternity Network International, ENI, and the Koinonia Megachurch. Number two, an inspiring teacher. He is known for his insightful and impactful teachings on the Word of God, which have endeared him to millions of followers worldwide. Number three, an author and a writer. Apostle Selman has written several best-selling books, including The Majesty of God's Power and The Beauty of God's Presence. Number four, a music minister. He is also a gifted music minister and has released several worship albums, including Your Majesty and The King's Majesty. Number five, a conference speaker. Apostle Selman is a sought-after conference speaker and has ministered at various events and conferences globally, sharing the message of God's love and redemption. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash the like button. You can also do the work of an evangelist by sharing this video to at least two people you love most. See you in our next video. God bless you. Mm -hmm.